This is fascinating. The state of Kentucky, as you may know, has 10 more days to finalize its election results. In Bromley, just one vote separates two winners and the loser in the race for city council. Can you believe it? As Larry Seward reports, it could also define what happens next for small town public servants humbled by near defeat. Along the Ohio River, wedged between the iconic suspension bridge and 200 years of Anderson ferry rides, Bromley, Kentucky, population 797, is proudly quiet. Usually, its elections hardly hog headlines, usually. But 2020 turned their usually sleepy race for city council seats into something no one saw coming. Usually, it's uneventful. That could bring more than new sidewalks. If you plan on raising your family in a community, you want that community to, to boom, you know? You look at Bellevue and Newport and, you know, they just have things going up nonstop down there on those river cities. And I feel like getting some young, fresh blood in there will just help them and help the community. Seven people ran for six seats. One vote separated the loser from the last two spots. It's the closest finish anyone remembers. It goes to prove that uh, everybody's vote in a small community or for local, um, uh, candidates is very important. 20 year incumbent Gail Smith tied newcomer Reagan France, a 30 something who works at a bank and is a married mom of two with one on the way who grew up near the riverbank dreaming of an opportunity like this. My mom ran the youth football program for 25 years. You hear a lot of people that are behind the computer screens that complain about things the city does wrong or doesn't do, you know, doesn't do quick enough. So I feel like being involved, I feel like you can only help change that. Updating Bromley's Park and getting LED lights here on Main Street are the new council's likely first steps. And though they would like to forget the stress of nearly a week of waiting for every vote to be counted. I look at numbers all day at work. I work at a bank, so I don't want to look at them at night. France and Smith cannot help savoring their narrow win. That's the voice of the people. In Bromley, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.